Welcome back to Great Day Washington. As we navigate these new and different times, it can be hard for our kids to fully understand what it is they are feeling inside. So I recently spoke with Brian Ray. He's the author of the children's book, Max's Box, to get ideas on how to help our kids understand what they're feeling. Brian, welcome to Great Day Washington. So good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right, this is an interesting time for all of us. And I know as adults, we're trying to figure it out, but even more so our kids. Why is it so important during this time to really encourage our kids to express their feelings? I think you hit it right on the head. It's important to keep in mind that, yes, adults are going through a lot and children are experiencing all of this too. And they might not fully understand what's going on, but they know their lives have been disrupted. School, activities with friends, being able to visit with family maybe. And all these changes can raise a lot of uh, sadness and anxiety. And it's important that they don't suppress those feelings. Uh, so creating an environment where a child feels safe to express their emotions right now in particular is, is very important. So how can we do that? How can we make them feel safe, make them feel comfortable knowing that they can express what they're feeling? I think the first thing to remember is that kids have all the same emotions that adults do, fears, worries, anger, what they don't have necessarily is perspective on those emotions and uh, the vocabulary to articulate them. So one thing you can do is help give your child an emotional vocabulary. Uh, that means like helping them identify the feeling they're having in the moment they're feeling it. So uh, you look angry because your brother won't share a toy, right? You've given it a name now. And over time, that emotional vocabulary builds and they can express themselves verbally, maybe, rather than an emotional outburst or a, or a tantrum. We hear too um, with art and yes, just yes. being able to express it. How can we get our kids to do that too? For younger people uh, that maybe aren't as equipped to work on their emotional vocabulary, art is a great way to help them express themselves. Uh, we know that it uh, you know, helps build motor skills and it helps develop creativity, but it's also a great way to help younger kids express themselves. Uh, art has been proved to sort of help calm the mind and the body. And when a child is calmer, they can express themselves a little more clearly. Uh, in our house, we make a point at least three or four times a week to do art. And sometimes our younger daughter, Sylvia, you know, the drawing will be very relaxed and very straightforward. And sometimes it's very intense, you know, and I'll, I'll take that opportunity to sort of use it as a launch pad to talk to her. And I'll say, it looks like, you know, you have a lot going on with what in your drawing. And she'll start sort of telling a story about this, you know, something that happened and, and involved this and involves that. And more often than not, it directly relates to something that may have happened to her like two days before, like if she fell in the playground. So clearly she's still working through that in her mind, but she's getting it out through the artwork and it's something she might not have been able to talk about, but the art has given her a chance to sort of tell a story about something that she's feeling. Uh, for older children, um, journaling is a great tool. You can encourage children to write down the feelings they're having them when they're feeling them. Or for younger children, uh, they can draw a picture in their journal of what they're feeling and label it. Uh, and for older kids, I would encourage them to go back and look at things that they've written down, interactions they may have had that, that elicited an emotional response, and to look on them with a new perspective. Uh, because perspective, again, is, is a great tool for sort of helping learn how to, to manage your emotions. You uh, have a book called Max's Box. What is that all about? It's about a little boy named Max who has some very big feelings and he's not sure what to do with them. So he puts them in a magic box that he has that'll get bigger and bigger the more he puts in it. And as he keeps putting in more and more emotions, the box grows larger and larger and larger until it starts to affect him being able to do the things that he used to like doing. And so Max has to figure out how he can let go of this ginormous box of emotions that he's dragging around with him. Congrats to you on that. And we're, we're really just kind of at the beginning of this. And then come school, things are going to be different. So really getting our kids in a routine um, and giving them the tools now is only going to help them down the road. Absolutely. Because suppressing those emotions can lead to, to trouble down the road. So whatever we can do to help them express themselves as they're feeling these things is going to help alleviate a lot of those problems. 
I think a lot of us adults could take those ideas too. And Brian just learned that Max's Box was just named gold winner for Picture Books Early Reader by Forward Indies Book of the Year. So congrats to him on that. And you can find out more about him at authorbrianray.com.